Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here, and you're in the part three of a three-part series of the Adrift Expedition. We're going to complete the expedition in this particular uh, version of the playthrough. I know the last one was kind of long, but we wanted to get a few things fixed up and, 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 and done before we got to this last part. Why? Because we have some things we need to do. Now, I know you're looking at the screen and you're noticing all the way on the right-hand side there's this weird timer over there. There's a reason for that. We're going to show you here in just a moment. First things first, let's take a look at what we have left. We're going to go to our expedition and we're going to check out what we've gotten done. So as you know, we've gotten phase one done. We're done with phase two. We've already got our time on our feet. We've walked to 9,000 steps, right? Phase three. Well, looks like we'd still have to discover three more life forms and they're robotic. This goes in link with phase five, which is the 30 of 32 creatures discovered. So to give you a key, you only really need to discover 29 because when you get here, you need to go to your three life forms. They'll count towards that full total. So there's something that's going to help you out in getting, the, getting things done. So we do need to get those two done, right? All right, got it. Next thing we do is going to be probing boundaries, which means this is gonna, we're going to be finding a... Uh, fallen traveler as you can see by the icon on the actual screen here on the left where it says ghosts in the machine probe the boundaries current objective it's got that little icon that means we're going to be looking for a a, a fallen traveler's uh grave site okay so we'll be doing that and dreaming of sleep piece of cake it's just pulse driving but we got some information on that that's going to help you out as well in regards to that and finally finishing out phase five we've ignored phase four let's take a look Phase four, we have to drift towards infinity. Again, we have to pulse drive for a little while, and we'll explain that in a minute, and then reach our fourth rendezvous. But wait, we haven't touched on this. Exploring a derelict freighter. And now you know what the timer's for. We're going to show you, or I'm going to show you, how to do the derelict freighter in the fastest way possible. So when we get to the derelict freighter, we're going to stand by the heater, and we're going to talk for a few moments, and I'll explain how it's done. And then we're going to activate our timer so let's see we should have in our inventory one of the prizes that we got let's see it's over at my starship i think uh there it is your emergency signal scanner you need that that's what you're going to be using for this now we just want to make sure everything's up to snuff over here our exosuit has full power we need we need more life support let me put a, one of the gels in here okay good we're all set there we got everything we need in order to get this done so Let's move forward, shall we? So that's going to be our first objective. We're going to do the derelict freighter first. Now, the system we're in is in the rendezvous. Let me check here. It looks like the rendezvous three system. This is where we are right now. Now, I, since I've gotten this reward, I'm going to go ahead and take it because it's getting more uh, slots to my multi-tools. So it's always a good thing to have. And uh, you get runaway mold. So if you're finding yourself a little short on nanites, you can put this into your refiner and go ahead and get some nanites out of it. Same thing with the residual goop. You can put that in there and slowly turn it into that. I'm going to get rid of my emerald. We don't need it anymore. Okay, so we're good there. I got some nice food that I can eat. We're in good shape there. Uh, and I think we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So here we go. Rendezvous 3 is complete. We're going to do it from this system. I have no clue what freighter it's going to give me. It'll be a surprise to us all. Yay! But that's okay. That's exactly what we're trying to do. All right. Out we go. So how does this work? What we need to do is go into our apartment, our inventory on our ship, and choose this. We're going to hit the E button. And then pulse drive. And you're going to see numbers on the right-hand side. Do not drop out of pulse early. This goes the same for all the other pulse drive missions you have to do. If you drop out early, it takes two to three times longer to finish this. Let it go, and it's going to disappear for a moment. Oh, it's going to take longer this time. It's it's paying me back for all the times I did try to drop it early, I, out, out early, I guess. Now, it's random how long it takes, unfortunately. Most times it takes a very short period of time. This time it's proving me a liar. Wow. Okay, we're going on three runs here. I think I know why. Watch what happens when I drop out. That's why. It wants us to do the Ghost Freighter. If you guys haven't seen this yet, the Ghost Freighter appears when you're pulse driving on occasion. So you want to talk to it. 
What a cool view, isn't it? It was not always this way. We're going to go ahead and get through this. You just respond, and it's going to go ahead and disappear. All right. We're going to go back the other way. We are very far away from the system now. <clears throat> and as we pulse drive, you see it's going to do it now, and it should find the... There we go. So, pop out. There's your freighter. All right, folks. Here we go. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this thing. And land on one of the landing pads. If turn green, go ahead and land on it. Pay attention to what it's telling you if you've never done a derelict freighter before. Game not saved aboard derelict, so keep that in mind. If something happens and you die here, you'll have to do it all over again. You don't pick up where you left off, okay? Now, as you go through here, you're going to see a lot of floating objects, but the things that you can get are these little capsules. They'll contain oxygen, and there's another one. There's another one right there. There you go. Right there, next to me. Or sodium. Sodium's more handy for you as far as to what you want to do. Gather them if you wish. I'm going to hold off gathering them right now. So what we're going to do as I'm getting in here, let's get next to this heater and I'll start our timer. Okay? Normally, we'll talk here while we stand next to the heater. Normally, you have to go through every single room. In your case, when you're doing a derelict for the first time, and you just want to get all the prizes out of it. There's a lot of equipment you can find in here and goodies that you can get and store in your inventory. When you have this kind of a mission, you want to keep in mind that you really need an empty inventory. You need as much of this out of here as possible. Drop it in your ship. That's all I can tell you. Because you're going to fill this up real quick with the stuff that you can get here. But... For this procedure, for this particular uh, run-through that we're doing here, if you want to do a speed run, you really want to do this quickly. So what's involved? What's involved is, is doing the least amount possible. That makes sense, doesn't it? So we're going to have the timer up there. We're going to show you how quick we can get this done. You can have bugs in here. You may not have bugs in here. We don't know what we're going to get until we get in here. But all I'm telling you is this. You're going to do four things. Number one you have to get credentials. Log credentials is what you need to get. So you're going to be looking for any of the logs that are laying around and you want to just uh, access them and it should give you credentials, the security credentials for somebody. You can get this at any point in time between here and just after the first computer that you hit, which by the way is your second objective. Getting to the first computer, going through the dialogue, downloading the crew, uh, crew manifest. Once you have that done, it's on to number three or grabbing a log on the way so you have security credentials because number three is getting the captain's computer and it will only let you in if you have credentials. So that's number three. And then number four, the final one is the cargo computer in the cargo bay. Once you access that one and download anything you want, take the teleporter back here. And once you're back here, you're done with the mission. But how fast can we do it? If there are bugs on the way, should I shoot them? If there's stuff on the way I want to pick up, should I pick it up? What rooms should I go into and what rooms shouldn't I go into? Let's see how fast I can do it while describing where you need to go. So let's get it started. I'm going to get the timer started right now while I'm accessing this. Here we go. Ready? Timer going. Total lockdown. First things first. Restart inter internal gravity. It's going to tell you that's not working. It's a little bit over. Hazard control. Nope. Can't do anything about that. It's going to be cold in there. You can collect the emergency supplies if you wish, or you can just tell it to unseal the door. But get out of this menu as quickly as possible because the timer on the right won't start until you're out of that menu. Keep yourself warm. You got eye on batteries. You should be good. Make sure you have your bolt caster on. You're going to need it. So as you look in here, take a look around. Make sure your lamp is on so you can see where you're going. And you want to get through here as quick as possible. Using your scanner, look for logs. Here we go. Hopefully, we'll get an engineering dude out of this one. Let's see what happens. Nope. Any more? There's one over there. Try to stay out of the beam or else a gun will appear. Nope, can't hit me. Good. Leave. All right, we got credentials. There it is. Head down the ladder. Now, any rooms that you see, and I'll show you one because I don't know if there was one in there or not because I knew I had to head down the ladder. Open the door. Next room. All right, this is a buggy ship. So let me take a look in here real quick. See that door over there with the white icons? You're good there. If you see purple icons, avoid it and go to the next door. 
I'm just going to get all the tendrils off the door so the door opens. Ready? Run through. These things are going to open up as you run past. And you're not going to run fast. Okay? Look in the next room. There's a computer over there. we got to head towards it. Kind of make your way over there if you can avoid disturbing the nests. Oh, well. Keep going. Guard your... And then access this. Now, they're going to attack you while you're standing here. Don't worry about it. You'll stay alive, I promise. Just go through this as quickly as possible. They're running around behind you. They're going to try to spit at you, but they have the aim of stormtroopers. Go through the menus, update, head to the next door. Leave. And you have your next one. See? Purple? Stay away from it. Go to the other one. There it is. Okay, just run past them. Don't worry about it. Don't try to attack them. They're not going to follow you down the ladder. Okay? At least I've never seen them do that. Why can't I get through this? There we go. Alright, we're through. Take a look around. Take your side. You see there's no computer in here. So we're just going to move on to that door all the way over there. Let's get it going. Okay? We're all set, right? Run. Outbreak. Okay, and we're through. There's the next one. For some reason, I can't seem to shoot this door. Okay, now we've got a problem. Well, this is weird. Let's go in here real quick. Maybe it'll reset. What we may have to do is we may have to do this all over again. Because that door will not open. I got rid of a couple of them. Hold on. So this is a defective door is what we're looking at here, folks. I've never had this happen before. Okay. You know what we're going to do? We're going to reload. That was really, really weird. We're going to stop our timer. I'm glad you got to see this, though. I have not had that happen to me before. So this should bring us back all the way to the front of the freighter here, I believe. Let's see what happens here. It may take us out into space now that I think about it. Yeah, space it is. Okay. Try this again. Hey, okay, it looks like it's already active. Let's go. That was really, really weird. And that may be a bug I have to report. Okay. All right, let's go. Glad you got to see this. We're going to definitely include that in this video. All right, as we said before, here we go. I'm actually going to start the timer now as we head down. So this will be a little more accurate from the point at which you land on the freighter to getting through it all. Let's make sure we got this right. Okay. Turn on the heater while you're here so you can keep yourself warm. All right. Get through all that real quick. Gravity. Hazard. We're going to ignore the units. We're going to go unseal the door. And I'm just going to go ahead and take that from there. 
Okay, and we're all set. Okay, let's go. Scan. Turn on my light real quick. Let's check this again, because this may or may not have the information we look for. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything on this one. Okay. We'll grab the other one real quick. See the purple door over there? We're going to ignore that. That goes to private quarters or somewhere you don't need to be. Yeah, see, we got that. And there it is. Okay, data previously recorded. It's interesting. Let me check my inventory real quick. Nope, I don't have it. Okay. No, I didn't tell you to go up the ladder. That's why I usually try to fall away. Bugs. Scan. What do we got? There's a snippet over there and a snippet over there. We don't have any computers here. So, which one do we go to? Let's hit this one. Captain's eyes. Okay. There we go. We got our credentials. Okay, there's our computer. We need to get over there. And the door we're going through is over on the other side, right? It's over there on the right. Okay, it's all the way over there. So, here we go. Oh, I forgot to do my protection, but that's okay. I think it'll stay until we're done with all this. Okay. Okay, off we go into this door. Oh, uh, we got all kinds of guys coming out. <laughs> Down we go. Okay, we're through. And there's no computer in this area. We need to get to that door over there. Let's see if we can get the door open. We can. Okay, well, it's not going to let me reload. We'll have to wait. Ah, worked that time. There we go. Doors open. Just head straight for it. We got no computer in here. If you want to warm up. There we go. And boom. On we go. Let's go to this computer next. See? Need the override. We're going to tell him that he's dead. Captain's dead and moving on. And log in as the officer. Go read the captain's log, and we just got a story real quick. It's gonna go through it real fast, and then we're done. And right about now. So this is I think the last one. Leave. There it is. Where's our door? Our door's the white one over there. I'm gonna go ahead and get it open from here. Looks like it's open. Off we go. Not quite. And we should be in the cargo bay already in the cargo bay. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So we're done. Just hit this one. This is a good system to be hitting it in because it doesn't seem to be a lot of rooms to go into. Okay. Complete. Complete. I just chose whatever I wanted to. That's on. Get rid of that. Go through and head out the door. What's our time at? Four and a half minutes. Normally you could pick up all the items in there and you'd be in there 15-20 minutes easy. But you can do it in less than five minutes. We are complete. Timer stopped. So now you know that you can do that. And I am going to turn off said timer. So now we know how long it takes. Excellent. If you didn't have those problems that I had. Anyway, moving on. We're out of here. So that is complete. Let's take a look at our log real quick here. So one complete, two complete. Get to two, thank you. Three is complete, except for the three robotic life forms, and I'll show you where to find those. We're going to get them on the way to Rendezvous 4, and I'll show you a couple worlds to find them on. Four just has the drift to infinity, towards infinity, to get done. Since we have Rendezvous 3 complete, we can do this right now. So let's do it right now and get it out of the way. All you need to do is, as it says, to hit the pulse drive. 
it'll do the numbers. Again, do not jump out early. If you see it glitch real quick and start counting again, then you will have to drop out. Oh, there it is. Hit S. That's the message you're looking for. You're going to see a cloud in front of you. Just go through this and tell it you're going to dream. And... Dream. You get some dots, and then you're done. And wait for the message to pop up to show that you're completed. Right there. There it is. Back to the menu. So four is almost complete except for the rendezvous. Five, we only have a few things left to do. We still have to get our creatures right, but we're going to go to rendezvous four. And there's a reason why we're doing that right now. We need to find our way there first. So there's our path. Let's take a look. Rendezvous four is all the way over here. Can we get there in one jump? We can. If you have the ability, if your hyperdrive is good enough that you can get there in one jump, go ahead and do it. Otherwise, stop early and get someplace else. The system we're looking for that has our first robotic animals is to the right and is called Dajal Zoo. You'll see it's 697 light years from your current spot and it's very close where Rendezvous 4 is. Dajal Zoo is a blue system. That's why you need that extra hyperdrive in there. So stop there. You also notice another feature of it is it does not have a life form there or a space station. That is the key. You go to these other blue stars, and if they have Viking there, that usually means they have a space station. You're looking for one that doesn't have anything. So, let's go here first. We need three of these life forms. You'll get two here. So we're on our way. Little trick here, if you do a quick barrel roll, one, two, three. Your ship will do a barrel roll while, while in hyperspace. Doesn't happen for all ships, just for some of them. Alright. This planet you're looking for, fortunately, is right here. It is known as Gornarlia Biki. G Biki. <laughs> That's what we'll call it. I really think they just throw the alphabet on the ground and just pull some tiles out, like on a Scrabble board, and say, hey, this is what we'll name it. Land anywhere you want. Doesn't make a difference where you land. Don't look for a landing pad anywhere, okay? You're not going to find one. It's an abandoned system completely. Stand here for a few moments, and you can already see there's one down there right there, I think. Nope, he isn't. That's a flower. <laughs> Ignore me. Red dots. It's what we're looking for. There's our first one. If you've never seen a mechanical monster before, a mechanical pet, that's what they look like. You feed them ion batteries if you ever want to befriend one. We have one. We need one more. Can't believe he's not showing up. Another way you can tell is when you look in the system here, it'll tell you that there's two animals. That's the best way of telling. Anomalous locations will only have one. And mechanical locations will have two. And I can't believe the second one isn't showing up. Let's go a little further out here. There we are. They're always slightly different from the first one. You see, there he is. Very nice creature. They're a lot of fun. They run pretty quick, too. So we now we have the 32 creatures, as you can see. But we need one more mechanical, do we not? Now, the system that I've selected has, unfortunately, a planet that's a little further out. I may change it by the time I start doing my real speed runs. So the second system, as you can see, we're facing towards R4 right now. Get back to the left, so you're looking at it from a sideways point of view, and look for a blue planet over here. Uh, over here, a little lower. Pardon me. There it is. Gordu Abna. 122 light years from the other location. Gordu Abna. There's a planet here that also has mechanical creatures on it. This planet is just as easily found. As you know, you are playing with millions of other people who are playing No Man's Sky, so, of course, a lot of systems are already checked out. And when they check out a system, it gives them the ability to rename everything. So we got a planet in front of us. Oh, oh, Oksha Beta. Yep, that's not the planet. Look to the right. You see that planet right there? Look at the name. Bots here. That's the planet you're looking for. Yep, I know. Hard to believe. But 
that is where we're headed. So while we're headed there, you notice it's pretty far out, so it's going to take us a few moments to get there. I want to find another system, personally, that has a planet just like the system you were just at. That's literally right in front of you. That would be so much easier and would save us a lot of time. So we're going to check out the expedition real quick. Again, one complete, two complete, three complete, except for the third robotic life form, which we're getting right now. Four is going to be complete once we get to Rendezvous 4. All right. Making sure we're all on the same page here. And while we're waiting, if you haven't hit the like button, please do so. It really helps the channel out a lot, especially if you like what you've been hearing. And I appreciate it. It really helps me out, too. And if you really want to, hit the subscribe button. Lots of videos out there, and I do take requests as well. Hey, I want to see you do this. Hey, I want to see what this is like. Can you answer this question for me in a video? Why, yes. Yes, I can. So here we go. We're just going to land any old place that I find a bear spot at, anyway. And the creatures normally pop up pretty quick. You usually don't have to wait very long. So just look around till you see a red dot. See, there's one over there. It's one right in front of me. A little bit of a different creature here. And if you haven't seen one up close, that's what they look like. And there's another one up there. He looks like he's got a light bulb for a head. Or for a backpack or something. He's got his own built-in light. I love him. I love these creatures to death. Oh, there he is. That's the one with the light bulb on his head. It's got like a U-shaped thing that's shooting lights all up in the sky. Really cool creature. Hey, we'll scan him anyway. He's right here. Excellent. All right, we're out of here. So we have our completion. We are... Phase 3 is complete. Once again. Phase 3, completed. We're done. Phase 4, we just need to get to the rendezvous. 5, we just have two more things to do, but we can't do them until we get Phase 4 complete. So let's go. What are we waiting for? So now, we can head back to Rendezvous 4, where we start where we wanted to be in the first place. Now, Rendezvous 4, I'm trying to remember where this one is on the planet. But we'll see in just a moment. Now, Hello Games has this wonderful, wonderful ability that they always like to put your rendezvous as far as way as they can get them. So it takes you forever to get there. Well, we're on our way. Now, it looks like my pulse drive is getting a little weak, so let me go ahead and... There it is. Charge it up with some of the tritium I still have. While we're at it, I notice that my thrusters are a little bit weak, too. So I'm going to use my last uh, launch fuel. I've got some uranium if I need it, but it opens up a spot if we ever need to. All right, rendezvous four. Big tall hill here, and if I'm not mistaken, it is a freighter for this one. And it's over here on the right as you approach, if you approach it from the right direction. It should show up in just a moment. Procedural generation may take an extra couple moments. There you are. Just land at the freighter. There we are. This will complete four. You'll notice that some com balls will usually show up, but they may have cleaned it up a little bit. Give it a moment. And if you does, it looks like it's taking an extra moment, it probably already got it. C4 is now complete. So what do I get? I get inventory slot times three. Uh, we're just going to put them down here. That'll be fine. Two, three. There we go. All right. Do we want anything else? Now, if you get the phase... Let me just go over the phase four, phase one, two, three, and four. Stealth paint for the first phase. You get starship wreckage base parts for the second. We already got those. Uh, this one we haven't collected. You get the companion egg for that third one. There you go. Come on. Get back in there. Thank you. There we go. And for the fourth one, which we just completed, you get the ship of the damned frigate. Okay, which you can add to your freighter, but we haven't gotten it yet. So what about the freighter, though? Well, we get that for this one, the dereliction. So if you select that, you will get a freighter, the freighter that you just did. It will give you to you as a reward if you want it. So I'm going to go ahead and claim it for now. And there we go. So we're done there. And those are the rewards you get for all these. So by all means, check out the rewards and see if they're worth it to you. 
And you can take these rewards, if you did it from your main save, you can take these rewards back with you, sometimes. Uh, you have a certain amount of space you can collect stuff in, but it gives you a bunch, a bunch of stuff. So on the phase five, we've got to probe the boundaries and look for a lost traveler. My suggestion is that since this planet is a pretty decent planet to be on... Oh, I'm out of ion batteries? What do you know? Let's go ahead and put another one in here real quick. And we're going to take it and charge our shield. There you go. So, and if you're wondering about the egg too, um, let, let me just go ahead and do it. And that's what your little pet looks like. Isn't he cute? And you just want to pet him. And you want to give him a treat, but you need processed meat. And I don't have that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to tell him... Uh, okay, good. He's gone. Shh, don't talk about him. Anyway, so moving on, we now need to find a traveler. So how do we do that? How do we find a traveler? I mean, we can look around the planet to our heart's content, maybe look through our scanner and see if one is really close by. You're not going to find one. I'll tell you that right now. And here's another thing, too. In this system, I believe it's really hard to get one. So let me try something here real quick. Let me put down the signal booster, which is what you're going to use to find them. And you're going to do scan for reality breaches. But if I remember correctly, in the, the Rendezvous 4 system, the closest traveler is literally on another planet. Really, really far away. But I could be wrong. Let me find out what happens here. So it looks like... Nope, it's on the same planet. So I do suggest doing it here. I think it's Rendezvous 5 that if you do it there, it's on a completely different planet. You literally have to leave and it takes you forever to get to this planet. So if you're trying to go for speed, stay put. So let's see how far it is by ship. 55 seconds. I think we can handle it. And if we go ahead and put more power to the engines, there we go, under 40. So let's just take the whole fashioned way. We'll take it slow. Because I'm tired of speedrunning. <laughs> so we just need to get this grave. This is the second to last milestone we need to complete before we call this done. So this turned out to be a lot shorter after that episode than I thought it was going to be. So as we approach, and we'll highlight the ship real quick. You're going to get the Iron Vulture as a reward to this whole thing. And there it is. There it is, right there. And low and slow. Lots of combos at this one. They haven't cleaned those up yet. And there we go. Select it. He's going to start talking, and then all of a sudden he goes and goes out. It's kind of a sad story. So just read it when you get a chance. We're going to call out, done, and guess what? It's complete. So, only thing we have left is Rendezvous 5. Is that not correct? It is correct. We have to dream of sleep. Okay, so we do have to do one more pulse drive. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll head on to Rendezvous 5. Let's select it. Nope. Not there. Thank you. All right. Now, as you're watching to the bottom right, like I said, if it looks like it resets and starts doing again, yeah, there's something else going on here. Yeah, and that's the thing. You have to, unfortunately, talk to this thing twice before you can do the rest. And just go over to one side and start doing it again. There we go. Gonna figure out a way around that one of these days. And when it tells you to, in just a moment, there we go. In one more dream, this is all we have left. Let's go ahead and do this. Dream to sleep. We're dreaming, we're dreaming, we're dreaming, and we're done. So that is complete. Our next objective is to head to Rendezvous 5 once we get our message. There it is. Galaxy map. And it's giving you the music like everything's complete, but you're not quite complete yet. You have to get to Rendezvous 5. Off we go. And unfortunately, when you go to hyperspace, the end music stops. So how to complete a derelict freighter in under five minutes is the highlight of this whole particular video, as far as it's concerned. That's going to get you your fastest times possible to get on and off that freighter in less than five minutes. All right, where are we headed? Over there. 
And where is it taking us? The furthest planet away from where we're sitting. I think we're lined up. You can check by going like this and seeing if it's lined up in the center. It is. Okay, so you're good. Now note, it says here, it's an airless planet, very good, copper, rusted metal, silver, and aggressive sentinels, which means if you stand around too long and you didn't get all your steps in, you're going to want to land someplace else and get those steps in. They will attack you here. I had my own battle here in a different live stream, so I recommend getting your steps in elsewhere. All right. Off we go. We are... See, 10 seconds away, so we are about 20 seconds, th say 30 seconds from completing this whole thing. And it's taking me somewhere else. Now, what you're looking for as you head over here, you're looking for a crashed ship. So once it reappears, when you get into the atmosphere, that's going to bounce away in just a second here. There it goes. It is on the other side of this hill. Okay? So simply go around it. No other worm. Go on the other side of the hill. See that see that landing platform someone built? We're close. Keep going. Right here. It is right here. And if you look at your palm, um, you see the the dot there? That's the crash ship. So let me show you this. And if you didn't get your crash ship yet, you can get it here. If you want to get the crash ship here, that's fine, but you cannot have multiplayer on or most likely will not be there. So this is your rendezvous right here. All you have to do is get out of your ship. Stand here for a second. And... It should have it done. Let's check. Yes, we're all complete. So we get a planetary uh, planetary chart if you want it, but I'm not going to get it. But what you do get is you get some decals, but more importantly, take this, the Iron Vulture. It's going to ask if you want it. You can compare it if you want, and just take it. Claim the ship. Don't exchange it, because you want all the stuff from your old ship, and claim it. And, ladies and gentlemen, everything's complete. So I'm going to get in the ship for just a moment. We're going to do this, just so you can see what it looks like. See, everything is completed. Expedition 13 Adrift is complete. And if you go into the expedition here, I'm just going to go ahead and claim all the rewards real fast. So that you can see what it looks like when it's completely, completely complete. Completely, completely complete? Oh my. And it's a good idea to go ahead and grab this stuff because it does come in handy. The multi-tool got upgraded. If you do save your starship one, it could upgrade your starship as well. That's our parts. We already got that, right? And we're going to add that to the fleet now. There we go. And all the rewards are there. Let's go ahead and collect all these real quick. A lot of these are just not necessary for you. So if you want to collect them, it's up to you. I did collect some at the beginning, as you knew. Like, I collected this one because I needed the money. So, and this one as well. And the, you know, the, the slots as well. You get food from that one. Somnal dust, which is really not useful to you. You get some Quicksilver, the planetary chart, and then finally, the title. And Expedition Complete, as you can see. So we're going to accept that. And if you go back into your menu, you're going to notice that the Expedition no longer exists up here. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and head off this planet. Let's take our ship, and we're going to show it to you here in just a moment. If you head out into space... Where there's a space station. And there it is over there. You should see your freighter, but I don't see it just yet. So we're going to ask the freighter to come in so we can take a look at it. So let's get close to the space station. We'll take a look at this, and you'll be able to see the Iron Vulture firsthand. I wonder if I can... 
think I can. Yes, I can go around the ship as much as I like here. So there's your iron vulture, folks. That's about the furthest I can go. I can't get in front of the ship right now. But you can see it from the side. Isn't that a beaut? I love this ship. Really, really love it a lot. All right, we're at the space station. Right now. Come on now. All right. And you notice it turned, it's still an abandoned station here, which is very interesting. Let's pull in our freighter. And you're going to take a look at... There you go. That is the ghost frigate. And you get one other frigate that comes with it. It's kind of a, you know, useless one, but it gives you a starter frigate to go with because you don't usually have a ghost frigate. This is the ghost frigate. It is a crazy, crazy looking ship. Ship of the Damned, it's called. Kind of creepy looking, isn't it? So to take a closer look at it, there you go. And there's our Iron Vulture as well. Let's put the suns up above. Yeah, that didn't help any. It still makes it look creepy, huh? Creepy, huh? All right. Now, someone asked me about the numbers on the ship. I'm going to see if I can see them here. Do not see the numbers they're referring to. So that's it. Yep, it is a number. So there's my number, 243-1987 slash slash 342. I think everybody has that. And I wonder what that is. The 243rd day of 1987 at 342 AM? I wonder. Now you got me wondering what that might be. Fascinating. That could be what it is. Anyway, let's pull back. So that is what our ship looks like. Really, really neat looking ship. And this is what your ghost freighter looks like. Crazy creepy. These panels, I think you can fly through them. Yeah, they don't affect you. So you can land on your freighter if you want, or you can land at the space station. Now, if you go to the space station right now, it'll just be a regular, ordinary abandoned system. As you can see, it says space station. It's not giving you anything here. But the rest of the galaxy is still... It goes back to normal after this. I believe. I haven't tried it yet. We're going to find out together. So this is our space station. Nothing special. Let's head out. Let's see if we can go to one hyperspace jump at the very least. And let's just go someplace else real fast. Because uh, this one is a good system, actually. But the one next to it is actually better. So it says it is a GEC system. Let's see if there's anything there. And my understanding is, is that we are back in regular time, I think. And I don't know if I tried that. Nope. Can't do the... Uh, can't do the roll here in hyperspace with this ship. Anytime now we'll pop out of hyperspace. And... There we go. Into a fighter battle. A freight, a fr a freighter battle. Pirate battle. Fantastic. I don't even know which, what guns I have. Really? It overloaded already? Positron ejectors are okay, but not the best ones in the world. So, you can have this fight if you want. Uh, where are we here? You? Let's go to you. Can I hit him, or what? And it's overloaded, too. Positron Ejector, I think, is one of the useless weapons in the game, personally. 
Now the good thing about this ship Good thing about the about the ship it doesn't seem to be taking a whole heck of a lot of damage. They're outside the shields, I can't shoot them. Shields work both ways apparently. Used to be the positron ejectors were the weapon of choice for a long time, but Infernife Accelerator seems to have taken its place. Okay. Is that everybody? So now, when you fight these pirates too, for those of you who don't know, you can actually take over the ship. So this is the ship in question. Well, above. Is this not the ship? Oh, that was a planet in distress. I thought it was the guy I was actually talking to. Hold on. Okay. Back to the ship. And you can go ahead and actually... Excuse the noise. Uh, get into the ship and you can actually uh, take it over if you wish. Now, because you own a freighter, you would have to buy this one. But you always want to take a look. And it's a B-class. That's pretty good. And you can go up to the captain and get some goods from him instead if you don't feel like getting this ship. So, on our way. Great. More words. What words? Incoming transmission source unknown. You're not alone. Please identify yourself. So this gets you started into the Atlas, pardon me, the Artemis storyline. So, just so you know. But, since we know that the rest of this system is now populated... Everything's back to normal. Now, I'm pretty sure that we're in Euclid, I think. Or I guess we're gonna find out here. There we go. Got a lot of upgrades that we can get rid of. But I'm just gonna go ahead and land here, and we're gonna probably call it here in just a moment. So you'll notice that the rest of the galaxy, like I said, reverts back to normal after your save. So you go back to normal here. I am not actually sure what system we're in right now, and I honestly don't know how to tell. Um, but these are all the visited systems. So that's pretty much it. I believe that's it. That's all we can call it. So anyway, that completes our expedition and everything that has to go along with it so i hope you liked what you saw please hit that like button if you haven't already I really appreciate it and again it does help the channel please subscribe if you like what you've been seeing i really appreciate that as well and i'll be producing more videos as you know uh, again requests are up to you if you decide there's something you want explained a little better or if there's a certain aspect of the game you're not familiar with or hey if you just want to learn how to play let me know drop a comment i always respond to my comments and I thank you very much for leaving said comments because the interaction is always very nice, too. We have a wonderful community here and a great many players doing a lot of these videos. So, again, thank you very much, folks. And as I always do, we're going to go ahead and wave goodbye. Take care, everybody, and thank you again.